the final question is one that you've put to all the leaders you've chosen to place in the spotlight. And that is, what piece of career advice would you give to the current generation of young professionals who are looking to become future foreign policy leaders? My advice is always remember that foreign policy is very broad. Foreign policy is not just the private preserve of foreign ministries within government. Um, it's also owned by other parts of government. Those parts of government that deal with security, with trade, with investment, with education, with migration, with cultural issues. And foreign policy is not just the preserve of government. It's also the preserve of the private business sector. Any company which is seeking to export, any company which is seeking to import, any company which is seeking to invest abroad or attract inward investment is in its way engaging in foreign policy. And of course foreign policy is influenced, shaped by academics, by think tanks, by the wider body politic, including the media. So if you're looking for a career in foreign policy, think quite broadly about where you might find the right avenue for you to make a difference and to become a foreign policy leader. And I wish you all the very best of luck as you seek out those opportunities.